Welcome to Memory Mixer Design Studio. We have had so many calls and emails about the quick mix that was used in the Read It Again newsletter that we have made a quick mix for you. It is called a crisp and clean, but I thought before I show you the quick mix, let me go ahead and show you this um, book that was referred to in the newsletter. So the water fight at Three Island Park. I love just a whole picture taking a page. You can see why they wanted it read again and again. Now remember this was take, made into a photo book so there is a, a single picture on a page on the left hand side and then the detail page here on the right hand. I have the new crisp and clean quick mix opened here and just want to tell you a little bit about it. It's really a great tool to actually help you create a custom design or color scheme that you want. This quick mix is made out of backgrounds and using shapes. To edit your backgrounds all you'll need to do is come up here, click on backgrounds and open your background tool drawer. Then you can click on color and now I'm just going to choose a color here from this first menu and maybe we'll try this pink color. But you could also go into the HSB tab or the RGB if you know those values. You can use the color pick tool to go to another page or a different element or even from your photo and pick a color. Or if you have something saved in your favorites then you can use that tool. So we're just going to say OK. And so I've changed this background to be the pink color. And I can do the same thing now with this shape here. My shape is opened and I just come here and change my color and maybe on this one I want to do maybe on this one I'm going to pick a darker pink say OK and now my shape has been edited with that and now I can just go ahead and change the rest of my pages I can also use in the background tool there's apply background to all pages so if I decide I want the whole book to have that pink background I just click on this button and it will change all of the pages in my book so let me come in here. So now if we're ready to, we've got our next page ready to go, I click on here and now I can use the color match tool, come to the previous page and I wanted to use this pink color, say OK and now that has edited that. I've done some other color schemes here just so you can see how easy it is and the different um, looks that you can get just by changing colors. Visit us on our fan page on Facebook or check our blog at MemoryMixer.com. Thanks, and we look forward to seeing you on our next tutorial.